Today, we'll be taking a look at PCIe 4.0 technology and just how far it's come compared to its predecessor. Hey guys, Craig from Server Factory here with another quick look into some new emerging technology. When I mention a new version of PCIe tech, the first thing that probably comes into mind is faster speeds and better performance. That is pretty much exactly what it is. It's essentially double the speed of PCIe 3.0. The way that it achieves this over the previous generation is through greater bandwidth over the same number of lanes, which directly translates to faster performance. For instance, an NVMe SSD on PCIe 3.0 uses four lanes with a maximum of eight giga transfers per second. A PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD also uses four lanes, but with a maximum of 16 giga transfers per second. This increased bandwidth allows for faster data transmission to any components that use PCIe, whether it's an SSD or a GPU. Recently, Supermicro announced their new lineup of A plus H12 servers, which all support the new PCIe 4.0 interface with the help of AMD's Epic 7002 series processors. So to the people that plan to use AMD out there, expect to achieve the high performance of PCIe 4.0 combined with the speed of NVMe and the latest Epic CPU. However, currently only a few AMD desktop GPUs are capable of supporting PCIe 4.0. Because of that, the biggest improvement around is the recent PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSDs. These are the only hardware that can fully utilize the new interface at the moment and they're by far one of the quickest data storage solutions on the market. So if you're looking to achieve the fastest drive performance possible on the market, then look no further. Samsung has announced their latest 980 Pro NVMe drives, which are due to be released in the second quarter of this year. They boast read speeds of up to 6,500 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 6,000 megabytes per second. Other brands such as Adata's XPG Sage SSD also has speeds up to 7,000 1000 megabytes per second and 6000 megabytes per second. It is also crucial to keep in mind here that PCIe 4.0 is fully backwards compatible with PCIe 3.0. This is a very handy feature given that boards that support PCIe 4.0 are usually slightly more expensive and having that backwards compatibility allows you to save money by keeping older components if needed. In terms of other hardware available in the market that can capitalize on PCIe 4.0, there aren't that many devices around just yet, but we can expect to see advancements in technology in the near future. The standard for PCIe 5.0 was completed last year. Even early PCIe 6.0 products are expected to be available in 2021 with an absurd speed of 64 giga transfers per second. In conclusion, PCIe 4.0 is a great advancement in the IT industry and quite literally the best way to achieve higher performances by unlocking your hardware's potential. The only real downside that comes with this is extra heat from SSDs or GPUs with higher clock speeds, along with currently limited product variety and higher costs. But with some major product drops right around the corner, now is a great time to shift up a gear into faster speeds. What do you think about PCIe 4.0? Let us know in the comments below. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.